one point this was actually on somebody's wall. Um, so the first thing you want to do is put your board, this, this board actually the tongue is gone so it doesn't really matter on this board, but uh, your groove and this so that whenever you're hammering against it you don't break the tongue off um, of the board. And then I like to set my pry bar in where it's going to be and adjust it so that I have the maximum amount of space to pry. Can you see that down there? So there's something to pry against and then set the board, you know, where you're going to get the most leverage. Um, In the other video, I said if your holes or your screws start getting worn out, just put new holes, new screws before you even get to that point because it's a pain in the ass to try and get those off the floor. All right, so pull all your weight down as much as you can and push as much as you can. And that looks damn good. You can't see the seam, but it does look damn good. And since I'm in such a small space, and I have stuff to push against, this isn't so hard by myself. Now, in the out wide open, with nothing to, with nothing to push against, it's not even possible to do by yourself. So if you want to do this, find some friends. I don't know if you could see that board move down, but it cinches it down. The seam is really nice and tight. We're in the bathroom. Tight seams are pretty important. Okay, so see how tight this is? And then you can barely start to see it come apart here. So you just do the same thing. Unscrew the board. I'm face screwing everything because I oiled a section of the floor and I decided that I like the way that looks better than uh, the nails, so they're kind of like little surprises. Um, so you just pick a spot where you think you're going to get the most, close the most seam. Do the same thing over again. I have knee pads on, that's what I'm using to pry. Sometimes use my feet. Also, when you're prying, watch out for this thing because it will jump up and bite you. And hitting it with the hammer really does. That looks damn good too, all the way down. Um, shit. Mesh it in there better. And when you're doing the screws, or what I've been doing doing the screws, is doing kind of a zigzag pattern. And the cool thing is, you can go back if you hear a loose board, and hopefully, I'm pressing down too hard. And I'm notorious for putting a screw. I don't think I can screw one screw straight. I don't think I've ever put a straight screw in this house. Um. That looks really good. Well, I'm happy with that. And I just threw a big old fit earlier for not being happy about a seam. So for me to be happy about it was pretty good. What's up? Do you, do you have anything to add? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You did good.